Happy October and happy Transfer Tuesday, the day of the week where I share what money moves I'm making to get closer to my big financial goals, to hit those money goals that I've set and want to achieve, even if I don't have enough income to make them happen. So the last couple of days I have been doing videos about October, my budget, my reset, kind of prepping my brain to have a good month. And I feel like all of that work has already started paying off because I am feeling amazing about this month. I am, I've always just really loved October. It's a great month, the fall weather, the leaves changing, so many activities. It's just super fun. I will say it is still 90 degrees in Tennessee. I do have a sweater on, but <laughs> it is 90 degrees outside and that weather has not come yet. But I am anticipating wonderful fall weather and a wonderful fall just financially because I am really focused on making this the best season that we've had all year even if we're starting out with a little bit of a catch up, get on back, back on track kind of mindset, because we do have a little bit of lingering credit card balance. We have a lot of medical bills. I literally just got a new bill from a visit several months ago, and it is for like a an extra doctor that was out of the copay that I paid. So I got a new $300 bill and stuff like that just <laughs> keeps hitting us. And I'm trying to keep a positive attitude because goodness, how much more can there be? But for today, I am really excited about the progress that I have made. So let's talk about it. And first, I'm going to talk about the extra income that I've earned because I do have money to do all some of my goals today that I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do because I did earn some extra money. So first I earned a $25 gift card, which I put toward food expenses. So I moved $25 out of our grocery budget toward this. And then I did earn $120 by working a few hours for my friend that owns a business. I did some work for her. So I earned $120, which is exciting. So that is great. I am also kind of playing around with new products that I'm gonna be launching and my shop has been getting a lot of sales right now, which is so exciting. Thank you guys so much. I love creating products that are helpful and useful for people. And I'm also considering doing an accountability group that is paid, which I've kind of shied away from doing a paid group before, but I've kind of realized after talking to a couple people in my comment section that for me, accountability is the thing that has actually allowed me to achieve my goals. And I've used YouTube for that accountability. And not everyone wants to get on a channel and make videos and feel accountable in that way. But I have learned so much about accountability, both through doing this publicly and also doing some of the things in the back end, like even the gym challenges that I've been doing, like the last one I did, I feel like I could run a really good accountability group. So I'm considering doing a paid group and even think about it is really exciting for me. And even if it doesn't earn a lot of money, I feel like it would help people. So I'm thinking about doing that. If you're interested or have any suggestions on that, let me know in the comments. It's not for everyone. I know that paid groups, not for everyone, but I'm realizing that accountability is so important and even paying money to have someone give you that accountability to just provide that environment for you is really worth it. And that's kind of what I do paying for my more expensive gym membership that someone told me to quit, which is crazy. Just having accountability in the ways that makes sense for you and actually make you do what you say you want to do, such a big deal. So anyway, some thoughts and some things that I've worked on this week that I'm real excited about. So now let's talk about the financial goals that we're going to cover today. The three goals I'm gonna talk about today are my Roth IRA, which I'm trying to max out for 2023, my house savings goal, which I was trying to save up $20,000 for this year, but I'm just going to say in general, and then also investing to have enough to pay off my mortgage. I have a low mortgage balance, so I'm not going to pay it off, but I want to have the money. So if I needed to, if like something terrible happened, I could just sell my investments and pay off my mortgage. So that is the three goals that I'm going to cover today. Let's get started. First goal is my Roth IRA, and I'm trying to max that out, which is $6,500 for the year of 2023. I have a ton of videos on Roth IRAs if you want to watch those, but for me, I am chugging along on this goal. I have a little sheet that I made that is an investing challenge. I love making challenges. They're so fun. Um, and I have been coloring that in as I go and just kind of picking numbers off of that. Since I did earn extra money this week, I am picking a slightly higher number than I had planned in my budget. I was planning to go from the lowest to the highest, but I'm going to kind of jump ahead since I did earn a little extra money and just jump to that higher amount. 
So today I'm starting with a balance of $4,030 in this account that I've contributed for the year of 2023. This is just contributions for the year, not like what it's actually earning or anything. And then I'm gonna put in $155 today. That is one of the numbers that I selected in my budget to put toward this goal and it is on the chart. So I'm gonna put in 155 and then we're ending this week with a contribution total of $4,185. So that feels really good. I colored in my little 155 bubble on the chart and that is going really well. I do wanna keep earning extra money every single week so that I can do all of the numbers and have a less stressful month um, because I just did budget and I was budgeting the money that I brought in in September. And honestly, it just wasn't enough to do everything I wanna do in October. And you know, I can earn extra money. I have that option. I have that ability. So why not? Why not just make it easier for myself to do everything I want to do, right? Let's just do everything. So next we are going to work on our house savings goal and this is not going to be a huge amount. We are doing two transfers toward this goal today and we are going to jump up to the next percentage, which is finally happening. That's exciting. It's been a couple weeks since we have made some progress on that. But today we're gonna to start with our ending balance from last week, which was $7,598.17. And I was hoping that the interest would have hit this account today and I would have had a, another transfer, but unfortunately the interest did not hit yet. So we only have the two different transfers. And one, the first one is 1931 that transferred from an app and that was Upside, which I used to get gas. And they also have added like so many different things. So you can use Upside to like buy Starbucks and go to like fast food restaurants and local restaurants. And they, they've just added a ton of stuff in Upside. So I did have a larger cash out than normal. It was 1931 and that, brought us up to $7,617.48. And then I did move over the $50 that I had budgeted that I had kind of thought I would not be able to do this month, but because I'm earning that extra money, as long as I earn like $100, $150 every single week, I can achieve all my goals financially. So I'm kind of gonna just charge ahead. And if that changes toward the end of the month, I might have to drop that 50, but for now I'm gonna put the 50 in and have a little higher of a balance. So we are ending this week with $7,667.48 on this goal, which is 38% funded, which is great. I'm so excited to get up to that 38% now. It has been a minute since I have been able to move up from the last percentage point. We were on 35 in the beginning of end of August, and then it was 36 in September, pretty much the whole month. And then finally 37 at the end and now 38 in October. So we are making progress toward that $20,000 goal. It's just going really slow. Okay, now let's look at the final goal, which I have not looked at every single week because there hasn't been a lot of progress on it, but I am basically trying to invest the amount that could pay off our mortgage. So bring up my investment, my taxable brokerage account to the amount that would pay off our mortgage. So as my investments go up and my mortgage comes down, so investments up and mortgage down, they will equal out at some point. And then I will have the amount I could pay off my mortgage. I'm not going to because my mortgage is a really great rate, it's 2.75%, so there's no reason to actually pay off my mortgage. But mentally, it would feel amazing if I had the money possible to pay off my mortgage. So that's what I'm doing and I'm going to continue working on that. And this week I am excited because my mortgage balance went down. Yay! So we did pay my mortgage payment at the end of the month. So because that went through and processed, we have moved the mortgage balance down from $109,300 to $108,586. Feels good, right? Feels amazing. So now that we're down to $108,586, we also have the other side, which is the investment side. And this week it is at $16,313. So that number is going to fluctuate a ton. It's going to be based on the investments I have and how the market's doing and whatever I can contribute to that, whatever referrals I get into that, that number is gonna go like up and down all the time. The mortgage balance is gonna be very steady and slow coming down every single month. That's where we're at for now. So we have basically saved 15% of our mortgage balance. So I love, I love seeing that. I love tracking that goal. That is something I added a couple weeks ago because I love the idea of having a paid off mortgage, but it doesn't make sense financially, mathematically to pay off this house. But 
putting that money aside so I could if I wanted to, that does feel good. That's it for my goals. Comment Club, if you watched this far, type down below accountability, totally hard to spell. I'll have it up on the screen. But basically, I am so grateful for you guys keeping me accountable and I am definitely playing around with ways that I can doubly add that to people to provide a little bit more than I do on Transfer Tuesdays because I know a lot of you guys use this video to stay accountable to your goals. And I love that. I love that people use this video weekly to tell me what they are doing on their goals. I love that Transfer Tuesday has just grown beyond what I could have imagined. And so many of you have paid off debt, invested money, started new accounts. It's just fantastic. I love seeing it. And you guys are all amazing. So I will be here next Tuesday to work on our goals together. Bye guys.